Hi guys, it is Mel with Love on Mel. What I wanted to talk about is my weight. I figured it would be good to kind of start from the beginning because right now I probably weigh, and I do weigh more than I've ever weighed before except for when I was maybe four or five months pregnant. Um, so right now I am about 33 years old. I guess for most of my adult life, I've probably been around 122. I really kept that up with um, heavy weight training, a little bit of cardio, not a lot. For most of my um, early 20s, I didn't actually do a lot of cardio. Uh, I probably only did about 20 minutes a few times a week, and I really stuck to weight training, so I was big into weights. and. My lowest weight as an adult was about 108. So I got down below 118 and dropped all the way down to 108. And this was probably right after I had my son. I was nursing and I started taking up running for the first time. And I think the combination of doing both of those um, affected my weight pretty dramatically for me. But then, you know, as I cut back on the running and I stopped nursing, my, my body weight started to come up a little bit again. Again, and it kind of stayed around 120, 124. I was probably consuming around 2,200 calories. And I felt comfortable at that weight. But every time something big would happen, like an event or a vacation, I subconsciously and consciously both would increase my cardio and decrease my calories. And not a lot. Um, I would increase my cardio quite a bit because I am a trainer and I was there, so I'm like, oh, I'll just do a little bit more. Um, and I would just decrease my calories by a couple hundred, so I tried to keep it under 2,000 calories or about 2,000 instead of allowing myself all the way up to 2,400. Again, just a few weeks before I would go on vacation or a big event, and I noticed that I could drop a few pounds right before I went, and then, of course, every vacation that I went on, um, I would gain a few pounds back. And that seemed to work just fine for a really long time, but I did notice the last couple of years um, it didn't work as well for me anymore, and my weight just kind of started creeping up um, closer to 123, and then at my highest, I was about 124. So not a huge amount, but it was enough where I would notice that it just wasn't as easy to just, you know, do a little extra cardio and not have seconds, and I would be down to my comfortable weight. About a year and a half ago, yeah, about a year and a half ago, that I was not going to restrict anymore. I started doing some more research on metabolic damage and what would happen. And, you know, everyone knows the whole yo-yo dieting idea that you can do it for a while, but pretty soon your body is going to be resistant to, to weight loss. And that the same things you used to do aren't going to be as effective anymore. And how you can reverse that. So I decided that I was not going to restrict my calories anymore. And I did that um, for a while. And I did start to gain weight. And I got up to almost 130 pounds. So I was doing that. I got up to about 130 then we decided to take a vacation and I got like old tendencies and I started doing a little more cardio and I started to um, eat just a little bit less and I got down again not as low I got to about 125 124 um, and then three weeks after that I went and did my water fast so after we came back from vacation I went right back on the unlimited and I got right back up to 130 pretty quickly again it only took me three weeks to get back up to 130 did my water fast and I got all the way down to about 115 and that was almost all muscle and I gained all my weight back um, and I was kind of on the mindset that I was going to do this unlimited eating and try to get my metabolism back because after you do a water fast again that's a huge amount of um, chaos you're putting the body through you know the starvation mode um, 
So I basically allowed myself to eat until I reached about 125. And again, that is kind of my, the number that I, it gets me really nervous. So I started to restrict a little bit. So instead of eating unlimited, which would be closer to 3,000 calories, which I believe my body um, is very comfortable with, I would try to keep it closer to 2,500 or less. And I started doing that because I just, there's part of me that still did not want to gain weight. I still wasn't 100% sure. So finally, after Zumba, my Zumba conference, I decided that this is it. I'm going to do this wholeheartedly. I'm going to eat until I am satisfied. The right foods, again, 80% carbs, 10% fat, 10% protein, um, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, but a majority of my calories is going to come from fruits and vegetables, a uh, very little bit from any kind of fat source. And I decided to do that in August, September, and that's what I've been doing so far. So I've been unlimited, probably closer to 3,000 calories. I've been taking down the intensity of my cardio. So normally I'm going on vacation in three weeks and normally this would be my ramp up time. So I would be, okay, 2,000, or 2,200 calories right there, and I'm going to do an extra half an hour of cardio every single day when I normally do close to an hour a day. Um, so I would bump up my cardio a little bit, decrease my calories a little bit, and then just feel a little bit hungry. And that is how I would, in the next three weeks, start to lose my weight and start to lean out a little bit for my vacation. I am not doing that this year, so I still do an hour of cardio, but again, it's very low intensity. I'm usually, you know, looking at YouTube videos or um, doing emails or looking at magazines. Or if I'm teaching, I push it a little bit harder. But again, nothing crazy. I'm not running marathons or anything. Um, so I'm keeping my intensity low. I'm continuing to eat, just trying to eat as healthy as possible. And this is going to be the first time that um, I am going into a vacation, not at my leanest. I'm not at my fighting weight, or at least what I feel comfortable at. And since I've been doing 3,000 calories and keeping my cardio limited since August, September area, I don't know, I know I did a video on here about it, so if you want to go back and look, it was back around that time, I don't know the exact same time, um, but I did a video on it, and it's been, let's see, like September, October, November, it's been three months of unlimited calories, and I weighed myself about a week or two ago, and I was 130. Two. Again, a lot of that's probably muscle because with my leg press, again, when I came back from my fast, I could only do about 120 pounds with the leg press, and now I'm at a new max, which was 400 pounds. So I do know um, just why the shape of my body, it's not all fat that I've been gaining. It is a lot of muscle. So um, I don't know if I'm going to continue to weigh myself. I don't know how comfortable I am. It was kind of a weakness where I just was like, I got to see what it is. Um, so I'm hoping that I don't gain too much more, but I'm not ready to stop right now. Again, the more information I look up and I research about metabolic damage and trying to earn the trust back of your body, it can take like a year or more. So I'm not ready to give up on that because I, I've noticed the last three months I've been much happier. I'm just eating until I'm satisfied every single meal, every single day. And I've just been in a really great mood and you know, a little extra weight gain right now, I think is okay with me. And I'm, I'm okay with that. So uh, I will probably make another video in a couple months and <laughs> let you know if I am still okay with that and how I'm feeling. Maybe I can do a video if you're interested in me doing a video about metabolic damage and what I've learned. Um, comment below and like and let me know what you think if you're interested in this idea. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit longer one. Um, but I thought it was information that people might find interesting. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I will be back with you with another video next week. All right. Bye, guys.